What if you had a virtual agent that could automate your phone calls, not only help you run a business, but also help you scale it? Have you heard about Gritspace? Gritspace provides you with a platform where you can build these call bots and automate your inbound and outbound calls. You get to tweak the personality of your call agent. You get to provide the right kind of knowledge that is required for your client base to your particular agent. And most importantly, you can manage the whole workflow of the call -its. So let's go and build some call bots. Welcome back everybody. So I'm on the landing page for Gridspace and we can find a lot of interesting information here like uh, the most trusted AI voice agent for assessing wellness, booking appointments, answering FAQs, qualifying leads, whatnot. And down here it says get a professional personable virtual call center agent today. So if you're looking for a solution uh, for a mid-scale or even a small-scale call center, and I know there can be a lot of redundancies within inbound and outbound calls. Within inbound calls, you if you have to answer questions about some listed existing information, that can be automated. Even with the outbound calls and cold calling, there's a lot of room for improvement there and a lot of room for automation. So Gridspace basically answers all those queries. So as you can see, we have a lot of agents right here in front of us. Utility, payment reminder agent, real estate leads agent, medical receptionist, hotel front desk agent as well. So let's go ahead and talk to it. So this says assist guests with reservations, facility questions, and late night requests. Let's go and find out. All right, so this says bot coaching session, connect to audio. Uh, sure, I'm gonna call in and... Please enter the passcode for this session. Okay, the passcode for this session is seven nine. Hi, you've reached the Hotel California front desk. My name is Grace, I'm a virtual front desk clerk. Are you a current guest of the Hotel California? Uh, no, I've never been to Hotel California. Okay. Are you looking to make a reservation or do you have other questions I can answer? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a reservation. Mm-hmm. Great. Thanks for your interest in Hotel California. Let me get some details from you. What day do you want to check in? So, I'd like to check in this Friday. Uh, what about checkout? What day? Uh, Sunday seems fine. Okay. And what type of room do you want? Two queen beds or a single king size bed? We also offer a few suites. I'd like a single king size bed. Uh huh. Okay. You're all booked. We look forward to seeing you when you check in at the Hotel California. Awesome. That was, that was pretty smooth. That was pretty neat. And the whole experience, this looks amazing. Like the latency is awesome. The latency for transcription is awesome. And I really like this experience over here on the right side where the cards are flipping. So cool stuff. Uh, so uh, that's one example of how you can use already existing agents, but these are more like dummy agents or, you know, uh, appropriate for demo. Uh, we can go in and we can build our own assistants with our own custom workflows, with our own knowledge bases. So let's go and do that. All right, so I'm within uh, Gridspace dashboard and this looks pretty nice. So this section is all about gathering information. Tell us about your use case and we'll start building your personalized bot. And these are some of the examples that we have already seen. We tried Hotel. Uh, front desk assistant to talk to Grace and then we have some of the uh, tutorials for you know building playbooks something that we'll cover in a bit and knowledge bases coaching sessions and then we also have a few videos all right so we are interested in building bots and I want to build a gym bot um, somebody that can guide me about reservations uh, guide me about you know the gym itself history of the gym uh, you know, tell me a bit more about the trainer or the owner of the gym, you know, stuff like that. So uh, let's go ahead and create the bot. I'm going to name it gym bot. Nothing creative here. All right. So we have our gym bot profile here, and this is where we can tweak the personality. So we have the first name, company name, uh, virtual agent and the timings. Let's go ahead and edit it. Uh, 
Grace is fine. I like Grace as a name. Uh, the personality of it, obviously, I would like it to be efficient. So I'm going to leave it here. Professional, definitely. Uh, fluid, articulate. I would slightly push it over here. And Grace wants to put others at ease with her tone. Yeah, somewhere in between. Not too casual, not too formal, because it's a gym agent, right? Grace never inserts reactions or chit chat. Yep, that's fine. Let's go ahead and click save. And the next thing we want to do is we want to go to knowledge base. So knowledge base is everything about the knowledge itself, right? So your bot needs to know about some aspects about the gym and we're going to provide it in like plain text. So I already have some text written about the gym here. All right, so we have a bit of gym overview here. We have the gym name and it's called Iron and Steel Fitness. We have some history over here. Uh, Iron Steel Fitness was established in 2010. And we have some details about John Armstrong, which happens to be the owner and the trainer of the gym. We have the timings here, which are listed in a very neat manner so that if anybody inquires about the session timings, then you have a morning, afternoon and evening session. And then we have some details about basic membership, standard membership, basically everything that a person would want to know, we have put it there. So we're going to use this as knowledge base. So for that, I'm going to click new knowledge and I'm going to say uh, gym knowledge base. And I'm going to choose plain text, save source. Once that's done, I'm going to go back to uh, gym knowledge base and create a new document. So this would be uh, gym history and details. Then I'm going to go ahead and select all of this and paste it over here. I'm going to hit save. Once that is done, I'm going to go back to uh, knowledge base and I'm going to click index here. You know how the things are when you're dealing with LLMs and you really have to vectorize most of the information because that's how they understand it. So indexing your information or the document itself is kind of important here. So I'm going to go ahead and click index. All right, people. So my document is indexed. My bot is ready with all the personality tweaks and information that is required. Next is the most important step where you would actually be designing the workflow for your call bot. So that would be in playbooks. So playbook, just as the name suggests, is more like a playbook for your agent. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new playbook and this would be gym playbook. OK, so we are in a nice space where we have this designer and this is where we actually design the whole workflow. So for the first page, I would say uh, I'm going to call it greetings. And I would basically be greeting the uh, user or the caller. Thank you for calling our fitness. I'm going to help you. Perfect. Next, we need to add a few steps. What would be the possible directions? What would be the possible questions that your call bot can handle? So I'm going to click options here. Uh, and I'm going to cut this part and I'm going to bring it here. All right. So I'm going to put in how can I help you today down here, which happens to be right after the script. So the script would just be the, like, Hey, thank you for calling our fitness. Uh, my name is Grace. And how can I help you today? This makes more sense. Next, we um, obviously need to ask to make a reservation, make a slot reservation. And the next option would be uh, inquiries. So inquiries about the gym. All right, so we have an option to basically create a reservation page. So after greetings, now we see uh, make a slot reservation step. And once we navigate back to greetings, we would select create inquiries about the gym page. So here we have a nice looking workflow where you greet your user and then you prompt uh, or like ask 
question about like, hey, uh, what do you want? Do you want to make a reservation or uh, do you want to inquire about the gym? And the user would sort of provide you more information about like, hey, what the next steps are. You can even add a third step if you want to deal with like uh, miscellaneous cases, something that you don't want to deal with and you just want to shove it right into one step. So yeah, that can be possible. Perfect. So uh, let's go ahead to inquiries about gym. So here, uh, again, we need two options here. Uh, like, what do you want to inquire about? And we can say uh, history of gym about the trainer. And again, we can create two pages for these. Perfect. So within the history of gym, we uh, can copy and provide the history stuff over here. And for about the trainer, we can grab some of the knowledge base stuff and provide it within the script over here. Perfect. So once that is done, then we need to prompt the user again, like, hey, where? what do you want to do now? So what we can do, uh, we can add an exit step or we can route it back to greetings where the whole workflow starts again. So uh, I'm going to say uh, create a new page and we can call this as exit and we can select the outcome page so we have three options here one is start one is outcome so this here greetings this is a start page where the whole story basically starts from and the exit page is more like the outcome page like we have a particular outcome so we can say thank you for calling earn fitness hope your inquiries or answer have a great day so that's how we exit again uh, for the history of gym we can again select exit page so both of these steps are basically pointing towards the exit page and if not so uh, then we can sort of route it back to gradings but for the demonstration i believe uh, this is pretty much enough so let's go ahead and test it i'm gonna go ahead to bots and I'm going to start a coaching session right here. All right, so we get to select a playbook, which is right here. We get to select the knowledge base and uh, we can say start. All right, I'm going to call in. Please enter the passcode for this session. All right, the passcode is. Thank you for calling Iron Fitness. My name is Grace. How can I help you today? I would like to inquire about the gym. What do you want to inquire about? Um, can I know about the trainer? John Armstrong, the founder and owner of Iron and Steel, but also a certified nutritionist and often hosts workshops on healthy eating and lifestyle choices. Thank you for calling Iron Fitness. Hope your inquiries were answered. Have a great day. All right. So that's everything about the workflow. We can add a few steps where we can ask uh, the question about whether you want to continue the call or whether you want to exit the call. So that particular step is missing, but in terms of demonstration, I mean, this is kind of nice. And uh, we can really experience the tweaks as well that we made to the personality. Uh, like it wasn't too formal and it wasn't too casual. So I like that particular aspect about this. And I believe uh, you can automate a great deal of stuff here. Also, besides that, you have an option to create connectors as well. For example, if you really want to automate a process which is associated with a third party, so you have a few connection types here, like connect to a Google Sheet, and you can fetch some information about uh, that particular sheet very easily. Connect to Salesforce, and you have a bunch of options here, like create a Google Calendar event. So a lot of stuff can be automated very easily using these connectors as well, by just adding them within the workflow of the call. We have a bunch of stuff here, but uh, this video was just to give you a demonstration of how you can sort of use grid space to create your bots and, you know, to build a kind of a workflow or, you know, study existing workflows and sort of uh, use them within your use cases. So this particular technology has a lot of potential in revolutionizing so many areas. So let me know what your thoughts are. Leave a comment in the comment section. 
And thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.